my friends and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In our last video, we did spend the day in Hollywood working on a bunch of side quests. We are now back downtown to check my emails for quests and also watch watch the news. All right, get it out of your system, please. Wow. Seven unread emails. Okay. So tell me Flayton's review. I recently read Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Cavaletti Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I am extremely happy with his conclusion. You have done well. Please accept the payment I've left you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. Sebastian LaCroix. Great. The cost, a friend. The cost of an attack is often paid later. Okay. <laughs> First network hub from Mitnick. So Mitnick here, I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica. Convenient, because that's where I want to go next. In an old place called Megahertz. Oh yeah, Megahertz Computing. I'll send another email with recon. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder and run the Shreknet command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. Bill Gates, I get it. Don't ask. I've I'll message you when I see the hub activated. Megahertz Computing Recon from Mitnick. Megahertz Computing is at the end of 2nd Street in Santa Monica next to the asylum. The only entrance is through the back door, so you'll have to find an alley to get back there. I'm leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. Good luck, kid. This one should be easy. You still there? Bertram, if you're... If you're reading this, I guess you're still among the undead. Got a proposition for you. If you're not too busy, you know where to find me. Won't be too difficult this time, Bertram. Baby, stop it. <laughs> Prince is promoting you from Gary. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today and came across something that might tickle you. A kid used to live here had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you'll find a copy of Tap you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me. I'll trade you a poster of the luscious lunatic for it. Put the film canister in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your Leslie haven. In the moon is you guys are so chatty today. Yesterday you hardly said anything. Cheap Rolex from Larry. Ain't the only stuff that we got, man. We've got much hotter, much deadlier stuff, you know. And like all other quality LA proprietors, we got new stock at all the, all the time. So check it out. It's from Larry. Fat Larry. <laughs> um, menu. Previous. Okay. Quiz. That was a lot more than I was expecting. So poster session. Gary will swap a poster of Jeanette Borman for an old movie of his called Tap Hotel. Just put it in the mailbox and check your Haven emails later. And then Tangled Web. Oh, Besser Cold is completed. A dish Besser Cold, actually. McCroy has sent you a reward for getting Tommy Flayton to give the Cafe Cavaletti a bad review. So you've received instructions on how to activate the Santa Monica network hub. You need to find Megahertz Computing at the end of 2nd Street and enter the... Enter through the alleyway behind the building. Mitnick has left you the key in your mailbox. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the Shreknet command. The password of the folder is Gilbates. You know, I'm probably not going to remember that, but um, there you go. Missing did. Bertram Trung, the Nosferatu in Santa Monica, has sent you an email stating that he has a proposition for you. So the post request. Now, last time it was, I think... Everyone in the comments was telling me it was an unmarked quest. Oh, I gotta watch the news. Um, but this time it's marked, but I don't remember always where to go. Um, okay, I think I can give the clipboard and the ledger. I assume that Bertram's gonna want his, his CD-ROM. Um, And fleshy ball. <laughs> I'll put that in there. And then screen. I gotta give that to. What does it say? 
Humanity versus the Vampire Lords? No more whispers. We gotta watch TV, okay? You've had your moment. Colonel Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage at over $1,000. Concerned parent groups joined so several senators straight, on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Senator Limperman called the game's pornography Shh, and was whisper. offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. <laughs> Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters say that extended media attention towards exploitive games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the taboo-themed games. Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago, Spain, after several pilgrims claim to have seen statues of the Madonna begin crying blood. The site dates back to the period of the Romans and has several reported Stop weeping virgin sightings throughout its history. That. One pilgrim reported Mother, that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six pleased. statues at around sunset Not and that the pleased. courtyard felt full of sadness. Skeptics have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked and witnesses are no more credible than those that report UFOs. <laughs> Freak sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. The jets were returning from a patrol over the Persian Gulf when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio exchange between the pilots mentioned wind conditions picking up and skies becoming so thick with sand that the sun was being blocked. Shortly after this exchange, there was a garbled shout by the co-pilot and finally radio silence. Oh dear. Military officials have dispatched several units to the area to search for the crew and the missing aircraft. The names of the pilots are being withheld until their status can be confirmed. That the Southland too. Slasher struck again. This time in downtown Los Angeles, the body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison past and the slasher. We'll have a full report on this story So they didn't tonight. say anything about Simon the Hollywood one yet. Local cable show Haunted oh, LA and his crew are reported missing tonight. The team of the popular supernatural themed program were filming around downtown Los Angeles. Jeez. The <laughs> but friends and family of the crew started to worry when they failed to return from a night of shooting. No trace has been found yet of the Haunted LA team, and rumors by the show's fans speculate the crew met a supernatural end though police disagree and have started a sweep of the areas where the crew was filming. Mistaken identity may have led to a murder outside the asp hole. Oh, here's a new one. an identified man drove a wooden stake into an exiting patron <laughs> outside the popular Hollywood club. The victim bore a resemblance to Ash Rivers, the owner of the asp hole, and investigators are speculating that the assassin meant to kill the popular Hollywood star. Rivers could not be reached for comment. Another victim of the Southland slasher was oh, found here we inside go. the Lucky Star one. Motel in Hollywood this evening. The fifth attributed to the killer. Police say that there is ample evidence that the slasher was interrupted during the murder, and police are asking anyone who might have witnessed the events to aid them in their capture of the killer. Another murder in Hollywood tonight and an adult bookstore. <laughs> a peep show dancer was killed in the basement of the store, and investigators are still trying to put the pieces together since no one present saw or heard anything. It is unknown at this time what the motives were, but the police are ruling out the Southland slasher as a suspect. Yeah. Tourists attempting to pay their respects at actress Ginger Swan's grave at the Hollywood Eternal Cemetery were shocked to discover the grave of the former sex symbol had been vandalized. Mm -hmm. The star was entombed in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage at over $1,000. Concerned parent groups okay. joined several... We've gone the full circle. TV is still not talking to me. I wish the newscaster had... Remember in Santa Monica at the very beginning of the game... Uh, the newscaster would start, like, saying murder or, like, they knew it was you. Like, very Malkavian of, of like, hearing the news. I liked that. I wish they would do more of that. doing that. I can't. I'm trying to leave. Mother, be too pleased. I'm too pleased. We have this conversation at least once every video, how I'm not surprised that Mummy isn't pleased. <laughs> All right. Out we go. Finally. <laughs> I don't want to say finally, but I feel like that took longer than a minute. Maggots okay. Love you. So we need to find me. the regent. We also need to find a fat Larry and sell some stuff. There he is. He's right in front of me. How convenient. Now I think the regent is right behind him. My man, what is up? This guy. 
That is what is up. Okay, let's sell this. And let's sell that. And then let's sell the ring and the watch. And the drugs. And that watch and that ring and those drugs. I need to buy some more blood maybe. Oh no, I want to keep that. It's boost to my charisma. I think I'll sell the axe. And that's it. I have so much money. <laughs> I have so much money. Hey buddy, go your own way. No, you go your own way. Just eat him. Like not feel bad about it either. Okay, here's the Tremere. Let's save after all that. I don't want to do that again. Okay, now let's try to find him. And there we go. All right. Oh, oh. Hi. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. And then I seek knowledge of gargoyles to stone skinned blood golems. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? Well, one haunts a theater in Hollywood. Tell me more. What can I tell you about them? Hmm, tell me of the blood golems. How do I destroy such a demon? Your eyes hide a blood secret, Wizard King. Tell me of this blood golem. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Hmm. You fathered this fiend? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I mean, kind of. I will keep this sorcerer's secret. I have options to weigh, Wizard King. You do that, Neonate. <laughs> if I hear that you have divulged my secret to anyone, anyone, you will never be welcome in this chantry again. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I might actually be okay with that because it's not like <laughs> you helped me in any way. You find yourself precariously perched, Wizard King. Abrams will savor your dark secret. Hmm. Let's try the second one. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Neonate. I trust you will make the right decision. Farewell. Farewell, Wizard King. Hmm. The Gargoyle Removal Service. Isaac wants you to take care of the gargoyle that has taken up residence in the old Asian theater. Okay. Well, I know that some of you have said that there is a way for me to get the gargoyle to... Like, not have to kill the gargoyle. So we'll have to see if I can get that to work. Nope. No. Let me out. There we go. All right, so I think I'm done downtown for right now. So I think I will go to... Hmm. I think I'll go... Stop freaking out, Whispers. You're freaking me out. I'll go to Santa Monica, because I've got to work on the serial killer mission. I need to go and talk to the bounty guy down there to update him about Mike Muddy Durbin. I've got to check in with virtual Hop tongue. In. I've got lots to do. I see no humulus, lupulus here. Oh, oh ribbit, let's drive. <laughs> ribbit, hop in, ribbit, I get it. It's like the Malkavians are just like feeding into all the Lovely bad dad evening. jokes. Hi. Okay, so which to do first? Let's um, let's go see Bertrand. The storm is our deaths. 
And then we'll do the brother salvage ones. It's right here. Of your ancestors will rise I know. You're so angry, Doomsayer. Hi. I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. Speak. My shadow may once again fall on this showman's lair. I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Oh, I will rom this? Hmm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it and bring it back. Done. Accept this silicon tribute, your nastiness. Uh, I'm no longer here. Let's try that. Okay, missing data. Bertram Tongue has asked you to go back to the Warrens and find his lost data CD. If you find it, he promised to teach you something that might come in handy. I already found it. Ah, back so soon? Did you make it to the Warrens and find my data CD? I did. Yes, accept this silicon tribute, your nastiness. Ah, excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes. All right, I'm ready. Bits and bites bubble from both our brains, but mine is busted, so I must go. Did I get any, like, extra bump in my... I know, like, my hacking skill is an eight, so... What do you need? Hmm. Okay, so... Missing Daddy returned Bertram's data CD. In return, he gave you the inside scoop on computers. I feel like it was already... I was already too high a level, and that's okay. All right, so... Into here we shall go. And I remember this guy being a pain. Um, I should probably have more blood right now. Use. And let's use an elder, or not an elder. I already used the elder of a day. Much to everyone's horror. Who is that Going guy? For it now. That was a little creepy, right? Hi, puppy. Do you, would you like to be let out? I can't let you out. I'm sorry. Um. He just threw a car at me. That is so not cool. Okay, that's, that's bad. Um, how am I gonna... Do I jump on the cars to get over the fire? I feel like I don't. I feel like I have to just, like, run through the fire and figure it out. Oh no, there's a, there's a little hole. Feel like it's not little enough. Oof. No, that didn't work. I'm gonna. Okay, I didn't die. Uh, blood heal. Hi. 
back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! You just tried to set me on fire, so you kind of did do something. Coral or no, you still have to go. Tell your sad story before the curtain falls. Ooh, let's try that one. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. Hmm, the hourglass remains short. Speak. I will read your meanings in the smoke above your ash pile. Uh, first one. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels. Never! You tore the veil, and now I'll put an end to your pain. Your words are withered husks. I await a new harvest. You'll feel nothing in the eternal darkness, coward, and now I send you there. Um... Second one, maybe? My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? Mm, the hourglass empties for all. Revenge is a cold, beautiful companion. Ooh, let's try that one. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. I would have wielded the sickle as well. Now you use your unlife to curse the living. Um, first one. I tracked them down, hunted them. One by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. Oh, so are you done then? Blood fills well the furious heart. You savored the sweet taste of your butchery. But now you are a slave to your bloodlust. Hmm... Hmm. First one, maybe? Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. That's very specific. You still battle your murderous demons. You surrendered to your darker half. If you do not turn from this darkness, I will send you into the abyss. Uh, first one, maybe? I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. You are battered and bloody from the beast. My past is not Lily White murderer. Try your sentence on me. You are merely a beast in Kindred's clothing. Let's try the first one. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something. Control your beast or the jester's hound will feast on you. Your beast has brought down death upon you. My own beast calls... Yeah, let's try the first one. Let's see if I can talk him out of it. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. Would your dead loved ones sing your praises now? The mask wear must be respected. Oh, the mask we wear must be respected. I will warn you no more. Then I will turn your... Let's try to convince him. Would your dead loved ones sing your praises now? No. Oh, God, no. No. It's got to stop. I can't live like this. You're right. You're right. Oh, God, you're right. I'll never do it again. I swear. Forgive me. Well, that was easy. Cast no more dark shadows. You will soon be reunited with your lost loved ones. Wonderful. Now go and talk to the children downtown in the last round. Ooh, let's send them there. Talk the serial killer down. I don't remember if I did that last time. Doesn't sound too familiar, but they had a, they had a, yet again, it does sound kind of familiar. So it's entirely possible. <laughs> Let's see. Carnival of Death, you successfully convinced a serial killer to give up his quest for vengeance now that the killers of his family are all dead. Yes, you still want your sarcophagus. We all know that. And look, I got some humanity back. And I probably got a bunch of points too, I hope. 22 points. All the things. All all the fun things. No more baby crying. Okay, so that was... All Santa Monica done downtown. Oh, Giovanni Mansion. I remember that one. I feel like the Tap Hotel was in the Chinese theater. I vaguely remember that. I need to go to the pier to talk to... Julian, Julius, Julius Caesar. The but let's talk to the bail bondsman. I feel like he said, if you find Muddy, come back. And I want to see if I get anything. I probably don't, but just in case. Hey there. I was hoping you'd stop back by. I got word about Muddy Mike. Seems he was a victim of that serial killer fella. Crazy, huh? 
Anyway, you can stop looking for him, if and you were. I have more questions. Sure, pal. What is it? Okay. Well, that was some dialogue update. I like that stuff. Okay, so we can go to the pier, and then I think we have Mitnick's quest to do. Right? So many things to do, and I love it all. <laughs> Every second takes us closer to the time of judgment! I know. Time of judgment. It's coming. It's going to take me a while to get there, though, because I'm slow. <laughs> Beach access. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening. All right. Oh, he's the only one left. What 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 do you, do you want? Are you Caesar? Do you know the Mad Hatter? Hmm. Let's go with Are you Caesar? No 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 no. Has your tongue been whispering to the warm bloods? Yes yes yes. The guilty always profess their innocence the loudest. Uh, first one. Please. I I don't I don't I don't know. I didn't I didn't mean me I didn't mean to. I don't know. Understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know. Hmm. Insolent chicklings must be disciplined. Heavy is the price of loose lips. Fear the many-minded reaper. Heavy is the price for lo of loose lips. Maybe. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Please, please. I, I'll never do it again. The light of your words ends in final sleep. Your groveling sickens my cerebellum. Ah, yes, my hands will fulfill your prophecy. Hmm. Second one? No, 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 no. Oh, God, God. The rules are written in obsidian, and my action is mandated by our blood. Worms, maggots, your corpse will rot in its own juices. I was hoping there'd be a way I could have spared him, but I probably picked wrong because hard to decipher these Malkavian options sometimes. Let's go with the first one. Please, find your heart. Please, find your heart. Your sobbings make me want to skewer you, your pupils. My heart is as dead as Julius. Let's try that one. Oh, God. 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 No. 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 I can't strike the weak, weak, weak need worm. Leave now. And no more moons for you. The blind lady tells me what must be done. Farewell. We're both pawns, and the dark hand uses me to topple you. This is your endgame. Nope, first one. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Never again should my eyes behold your stuttering stupidity. Farewell. Oh, look, more humanity. I made Julius leave town. I feel like I did the last time too, but. Oh, poor guy. Be rated, be rated writer. It's so hard to say for some reason. You allowed Hatter's collaborator Julius to flee town with an understanding he is never to return. You should inform Vivi that he's been taken care of. Okay. Um. Oh yes, Mitnick's mission. I'm <laughs> like, I feel like there are so many things to do here. I wish Bertram could have given me money, you know? That would have been a nice option. I also want to get some more blood while I'm here because I've got lots of money, so I can. And also, I feel like I might need it eventually. <laughs> All right, um, no, I walked right. Oh no, it's back this way. Here we go, blood bank. Go talk to Vandal, right? Souls draped in rotten tatters and very, very disrespectful ghoul. Need a fix? Uh-huh. 
Okay, so we want to get one of those, and then we'll get those. Thank you. Now we'll go to Mega something. Megahertz, I think, was it? I gotta be sneaky, right? Um, this one? It is this one! <gasps> no, I forgot to get the stuff. Oh, I feel like I did this last time too. I forgot to get the key out of my stinking <sighs> inbox, mailbox. There you go, not an inbox. All right, let me go get it and I'll be right back. Well, that was just silly, Jessica. All right, I got my $100 from LaCroix and the key. Let's, let's try not to forget. Let's try not to do that again. <laughs> Even though I probably will. As long as I'm just like, really? I'm so bad at that stuff. Okay. Um... Hmm. No? I wonder where that... Oh, probably the vent probably took me down into here, maybe. Hmm. Let me see. Do I have enough points? So I need eight. And... Let's try. Why is it doing that? That's really weird. Wait, accept. Do I need eight for it? Is that what it's saying? I did need eight. Okay, perfect. I could blood buff, but it it always takes a minute. Well, it doesn't take a minute. It takes a hefty amount of blood to do that. Don't seem to be any security guards, so that's nice. Hack, please. Hack, please. Uh, net security. Uh, Gil Bates, right? And we have to start Shreknet. Shreknet hub enabled. Nice going, kid. I'll email you with instructions for the next hub. Which means I have to go back downtown, right? Which was where I just was. <laughs> Um, quits. Okay. No, no. Don't start with me. So I have to go back downtown and pick up the next... Can I just... Let me try something. Can I go back to my apartment here and get the same updates? Wrong way. Just a wonder... I mean, worst case, I don't know. There might be something here worthwhile picking up. There always a newspaper right here. Maybe I can get updates. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. I feel like we have that one already. <gasps> My computer is here. Amazing. Oh, four on red now. Email. Um, 13. Okay, second network hub from Mitnick. The next terminal is in the basement of the Nocturne Theater in downtown. Recon to follow. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activated, log into the net security folder, password, break a leg, and run Shreknet. What was that? Uh, Nocturne Theater Recon. The Nocturne Theater is downtown just across from the Empire Arms Hotel. I couldn't get a key to the front door, so you'll have to enter through the sewer. Sorry, that's the best I could do. Wireless camera. I put the camera down in your mailbox. 
Maybe it'll be here. Maybe it'll be here. I had an operative scope out the joint beforehand and he marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it. It's probably someplace high. And mount the camera. Once you put it in place, log into the terminal downstairs, find the camera folder and activate netcam. You won't be able to activate the hub until the camera is in place. Library. Hello, young one. LaCroix praised you as a resourceful, as, as resourceful. That's it. <laughs> so maybe you could assist me with an important matter. A fellow gangrel, Scott, who was doing research for me at the public library, claims to have seen a Sabat kindred there. As I find myself preoccupied right now, please meet him in my stead at the old smoke shop in Santa Monica. He'll have details. Scott was very insistent that something is afoot and we wouldn't want anything bad to happen to all those precious books now, would we? I don't know. Night at the library. Beckett has asked you to find out what the Sabbat is doing in downtown public library. Ooh, we've never done this one before. First, you need to meet his friend Scott in the Santa Monica smoke shop. Um, okay, you've received instructions on how to activate the downtown network hub. You need to enter through the Nocturne Theater, through the sewers. Yay. Mount a wireless camera near the red X and activate it through the network terminal. Run Shreknet, break a leg. It is very important that you are not seen while you are there. Great. Well, let's see if the stuff is in my mailbox here because that would just be so convenient. It is! <laughs> awesome! But smoke shop in Santa Monica. Let's do the quest we've never done before. That sounds fun. The game has been saved for me. Tattoo. Where's the smoke shop? No. Is this it? Hey there. Need a date? No, I'm good, but thank you. Um, that was the bakery. Aha! Smoke shop. Thomas Cross. I'm getting a very Sherlock vibe. <laughs> Nine lives? Okay. Talk to that guy. I can talk to that guy. What is this over here? Becca couldn't, Becca couldn't wait any longer. The guy left early. He intends to meet someone at the end of the pier. Hope to see you there. I will again leave a note in case I have to go before you, before you arrive, Scott. Is that what it said? Who, who's this fine fellow over here? I can't get close enough to talk to him, I don't think. Ooh, there's another guy here. Well, I can't talk to him. Oh, I'm, oh no, am I stuck? I'm stuck. I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck, I broke the game, I'm stuck. Ugh, let me reload. Okay, let's not be dumb enough to do that again. Let's talk to these fellows. Hey, how you doing? Are you looking for more than blowing smoke? That's a negative. Hey, how you doing? Huh. Good evening to you. Good evening. Hi, Thomas. I am looking for Scott Wolf. I beg your pardon. Sometimes he is a man, sometimes he is a wolf? No, I, I, I really don't understand you. Thanks for nothing. I'm sure the wolf wrote me a letter. I mean, he did. It's right over there, but... Okay. Nope. Wrong button, Jessica. Quest log. So you went to the smoke shop, but Beckett's friend wasn't there. Scott did leave a note, though, suggesting that something is going down at the end of the Santa Monica Pier. Ooh, ooh. sorry. <laughs> new quest. I shouldn't be this excited about new quests, but I just, I just love them. I love more story. Okay, Kira's over here. 
I get stuck on a table. I forget to check my mailbox. This is not a good vampire day, is it? Klaus, is, Klaus and I are struggling. I get to the pier, yes, I get to the beach and then I go up to the pier, right? Is it gonna actually rain? It is! And I remember being able to go way out onto the pier now. And I don't know if I could have done that in the last game. Well, the last playthrough. It's the same game-ish, right? Banana split, Chubby's taco, shack, Rob's harbor grill. Oh, I see another note. You just leave notes lying all over the place. Back at the meeting here seems to be a trap. In case I don't make it, check the shop on the move in Santa Monica. I left the door unlocked. My password is the city of the coffin. Scott? now. Oh, I can pick it up. Because <laughs> I sold my fire axe. Okay. At the end of the Santa Monica Pier, you found signs of a bloody fight and a hastily scrawled paper telling you to investigate the shop on the move. That was the bakery, right? In Santa Monica. And a password is supposed to be the city of the coffin. Is it literally city of the coffin? Or is it like that code for something? You know what? It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm just so excited. New quest. I hope that there's some actual interactions with Beckett and whoever this other person is. Because if it's just picking up notes and some random NPC talk, it's it's less it's less cool. But I'll take it. It's fine. Okay, down we go here. And then... Okay, oop, oop. So the bakery was on... I wanna say the Main Street side, but... I could be wrong. I thought it was the Main Street side. Yeah, it is. It's right here. Oh, we can go in now. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> For like, to read a piece of paper, probably. I thought it was a bakery. I clearly am wrong. There's a woman's bra in the bathroom. That does not seem normal. And, uh... No, it just looks like a sheet of some sort. Uh, fine wine shop? I clearly read the description of this shop wrong. Clearly. Employees only. Anything in the fridge? Nothing. And then some employees only, and then fine wine shop. Okay, well, I am going to, it's a little bit early, but I'm gonna pause here today because I feel like if I go through one of these doors, 
something exciting is going to happen and I, I want to be able to savor it. <laughs> so on Saturday, I will pick you back up here. We'll go in to both of these doors and see what happens next on this quest that I haven't done before. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines video.